Oh, damn, my phone don't want to adjust to nothing. Hi, booze. How y'all doing, my babies? Okay, so y'all already know what it's going to be about because you read the title and shit. So, girl, I'm going to teach you today what to do about yesterday. It's tomorrow. All right, so. All right. How to initiate. All right, so I'm going to tell y'all what I do, and then I'm going to give y'all regular advice, okay? Because, like, everybody don't do what I do. And that's fine, but this is how I do it. All right, so. Yeah, like, I can't even. I just get nasty. Like, I there's no. Okay, so once your self-esteem gets to a certain point, initiating is not going to be hard for you. It's really not, because... You're going to know that getting rejected isn't going to happen. You feel what I'm saying? Because I have yet to get rejected. Like, I have yet. Because, like, I'm really good at reading body language. Like, you can feel somebody out if they want me. Like, it's common sense. How do you not know? And if you don't know, pay attention so you do know to know what's to know. Like, the fuck? I'm trying to help you. All right, so, seriously. So, if you're like me, honestly, I literally tell y'all this all the time. Some liquor okay 21 and up no wonder he's drinking some liquor and shit look good smell good feel good right and yo i just be slutting niggas out like i will literally grab him by his throat and push him up against the motherfucking wall because you my bitch that's why because i no, i'm not kidding i've done that so many times like i can't even guys my hair i need to get my hair done which i will well i get it i do my own hair anyway so like literally i have thrown niggas up against walls doors anywhere honestly like i manhandle them and that's how i initiate i'm serious like i i just like now don't do this to every nigga because some of them might choke slam drop kick 250 um i'm trying not to say nothing vulgar so I don't... fuck it i don't give a fuck Nah, seriously, because he going to give you a two-piece on the side of fries if he ain't okay with this. But I like to grab niggas' asses. Like, I already told y'all, I like to grab the butt, and I don't care. I don't care. I don't give up about none of that. If you don't like it, then don't be with me. Nah, I'm just kidding. Everybody got boundaries. But seriously, like, so what I do is I grab guy, right? Mostly by, like, his lower back, his waist, bitch, his hips. Because niggas like what we do. They just act like they don't, all right? So, like, I will literally grab him. Like by his or his like belt, loot waist, like the 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 the, the, the fucking shit, the the pants weight line thing that I'll grab him by that and like pull him to my parts, like I pull him close to my parts, like <laughs> I'm serious, like I'll grab him, I'll grab his hair, oh my God, yo I love men with long hair, like bro. <laughs> something about grabbing it when he just you know like okay so the reason why i like guys along here for real for real okay so it's because one i could pull it so mm. and there's this little face they make when they in pain a little bit like when you like pulling their hair and stuff like that that little off oh, look oh god niggas is so fine and then they just be letting out that oh, thing you know ladies you know when you get your hair pulled and you're like like you get that little like you like mm, like you know you make that little sound and like your face you like oh, nigga, like that mm. men have that too look for it look for it it's so fucking oh, i'm addicted to niggas i like women too now first of all i eat it and i beat it all right i do order i do order it that's how i know what i'm doing so well when it comes to both sides because i did both sides i go uh international love up in here all right, anyway, back to initiating. Yeah, so literally, pull, now that's, again, that's aggressive initiating. That's initiating if you want him to get you pregnant. That's that kind of initiating. If you want him to get you pregnant, just rip his clothes off when he comes to the door. Like, the shit you see in, like, movies and shit, that shit really do be happening. Like, stop making people be like, oh, no, that shit don't be happening. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you're really that horny and can't wait, shit gets ripped off. Uh, you know how many outfits, clothes, shirts, boxers that I've ripped off of a nigga's body? Try to do that, by the way. If you're strong enough, do that. You don't even got to be that strong. You don't even got to be that strong. I did it. Ooh. Oh, my God. The one time, bro. Like, I'm sorry. I'm learning how to control my stuff with my hands because 
guys can't just be replacing boxes and wife beaves all the time when they get ripped off because their girl's just too horny and don't got the patience to take it off the fuck it be taking too motherfucking long like goddamn like you're right so like i gotta do that and then that get like that and then that get like that and then that i don't want to do that i don't want to do that I, just like that nigga come here give me that dick. all right but nah but so that's an aggressive approach that's the approach that i take now guys remember i have stalkers and I also hear that I've never had a woman initiate the way you do. Because I guess women don't want to initiate or they're afraid or whatever the fuck. That's what they remember. They feel so wanted and so like, ah. And then they make it the, give the next best. She's like, can you take your shirt off? <laughs> but when you, when, when you were him, you like, nigga, come here. Get salt and put it in my mouth. Lift, lift my leg up. Like, you got to do that. You got to do that. You got to make the difference. But otherwise, anyway, <clears throat> So if you want to be normal and you <laughs> if you want to be normal i'm gonna use my customer service voice yeah ready <clears throat> so if you want to take the normal approach um what you do is um you you know you just give him that eye contact and you know and you just look at him and you're just like oh just come here it's like you know you just say something sexy that's why I'm doing motherfucking customer service. Nobody want motherfucking talk like that on motherfucking day. You pissed me off, Brenda. You made me mad. You threw the chips in the soda aisle when it was supposed to go with the pop tarts. What would you do? Anyway. Nah, but for real. Like, so like if you want like a more gentle like approach, a more like uh uh uh, that's what you do. That's what you do. You kinda just like seriously, eye contact. Touching him, rubbing him all over. Literally, like, little stuff. Like, rub his leg. You know how men do with us. It's literally the same thing, guys, like, what we like to. I swear. Just rub on his 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 leg a little bit. Like, play with his hair. Put your finger down his neck. Oh, that's my favorite thing to do. Let me tell you some. Oh, my God. I love doing that. So, what I like to do is, I, like, look at them, right? And I'll just be sitting there salivating because they look, that's my prey. You feel me? So... I, I, yes, I treat men like dogs. Not all of them. Y'all don't know at my personal, personal. Y'all know, I tell y'all my past stories. What I got going on right now? Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Y'all know when I'm married. Like, y'all know when I'm married and pregnant. That's when y'all gonna know. Nah, but, um, what the fuck was I gonna say? <laughs> That's the weed, bro. That's the weed. Like, I need to stop smoking and shit. Like, okay, anyway. <clears throat> No, but seriously, like, touch on their neck. Just embrace them. When you hug them, put your face in their neck. When you hug them right there, put your lips on their neck. You know, do a little, a little quick, you know, like, it's so, easy, it's so easy to initiate, you feel me? But, like, if you're trying to initiate to the point he gets you pregnant, do what I said in the beginning. Do what I said in the beginning because you're going to be nutted in. Now, I'd say proceed with caution. Don't do this if you ain't ready for a baby. I already told y'all motherfuckers that. So don't come up to me being like, oh, Justina, I'm pregnant. What do I do? What do you do? Hit it with a shoe right in your stomach. Bop! That's my vibe. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next video.